Hi everyone, welcome to another Atlas 3D SS video. My name is Janeko and today we are going to show you the shortcut keys on your keyboard in Lychee and their functions. So we are using a one page rules model over here and we are going to be on layout. Make sure you are on layout and this is just a simple one. If you want to move the model, you click T and you can switch between T and R um, when you want to do a model in layout with this allows you to either rotate or go back to T and move it. So it's just a simple one. So now go back to your support tab and let's place a support like this. So your shift key allows you to pan the camera like so or the middle mouse button also allows you to do so but we are going to focus more on the actual shortcut keys for the supports themselves. So starting with a support key that's super useful. So we talked about the anatomy of supports and one of the biggest problems people face in the beginning when they start using the advanced mode in Lychee is they don't know which section of the support to actually move and what ends happening is the support starts to lean. Sometimes you might want to do this but sometimes you don't and you know that anytime that you lean a support it loses uh, some structural rigidity and strength or resistance to suction. So we want it as straight as possible or following the angle of the printing. So what happens usually is you start playing with Lychee, you go to advanced mode and now you want to move the tip. Okay, I will move the tip. And now I want to move the support. And now I have a leaning support which is quite weird. And now what do we do? How do we straighten this up? Okay, I'm gonna try and make it as straight as possible but sometimes it's quite tricky to get correct. You can see it's not yet there. So the first short shortcut key that's quite important for everyone is Alt R. Alt R snaps back into a vertical position any support. So it recalculates the support in order to for it to be vertical. Like so. Switch off the wraps here. Okay. So now you can see it. So imagine that you are on your classic mode and you want to place your support like so and now it's leaning alt r to the rescue again oh and now you just move the bottom part to whatever place you didn't want to alt r alt r is your rescue button <laughs> so let's go to the next um shortcut key your alt button your alt button as you will see on the type of support videos allows you to create bracings between the same support it allows you to create other supports or create manual bracings from a support that's already created like so this is your alt button so another useful shortcut is alt D Alt D copies the actual support you selected previously. So as you can see in advanced mode you can see that it created a support inside the other support when I click Alt D. So another one and Alt D again and another one, Alt D and another one to infinity and beyond. So you can see that Alt D is basically our copy function. You can also do it for bracing so Alt D and now I have two and Alt D and I have another one it's quite dif it's difficult to see in classic mode but they are there they are just inside each other just like so so you imagine that you create a thin support like so and Alt D and Alt D and Alt D and Alt D you get the point so as you can see you can copy to infinity and beyond. So thin supports, you just saw them. How do you create them? So you create them by clicking Alt Control. 
Alt control allows you to select point A and point B and just do them like so. So this is a thin support, just like so. As you can see, and you can create from here, create from here, just allows you to do all kinds of crazy stuff. So this is the thin support shortcut key. So the second um, shortcut key is shift, alt, shift. I repeat, alt, shift. Alt, shift basically uh, copies the latest um, selected support. So imagine that you have a thin support going like this. You can either use Alt D which copies the same one over again, but you have to click Alt D for each instance that you want to create, like so. So it's m much more faster if you actually use Alt Shift, which will copy anything that you selected uh, previously. So what you do is you click on your thin support like so, and now you have it selected. So if you click Alt Shift now, it will generate another instance of the one that you have selected. But now you just have to click with the mouse button to where you want to attach it and it will attach it as long as you keep Alt Shift clicked. Just like so. And it's much faster than having to click Alt D for each one of those. So now I can just go completely crazy and do it like so. The other useful feature that we encountered with um, Alt Shift is we call it trellising. So imagine that you have some kind of structure that's it's a bit stretched out and needs some bracing, but the bracings button for some reason doesn't recognize it as a bracing. And you might want to do the Alt button as I showed you before and do manual bracings. But sometimes this is quite time consuming and you have to click Alt and select manually each point every time. What you can do is just place the first one and use the Alt Shift and it will basically go from the last point that you attached it to. So you can create like a trellis frame on engineering. So you created your first one with Alt button and now you create Alt Shift and you can copy this over and over and zigzag your way through just like this. Or just select another one and close it, close the spider web even more. So as you can see the Alt Shift copies the latest uh, selected support that you placed which is quite uh, useful. Same thing with Alt supports like the regular branches that we have created before. I'm gonna create another one here. So you do your Alt button and you could either Alt D which would copy it as you know, which is the same but a bit slower, or you can select it and click Alt Shift and copy it over and over and over the amount of times you need, just like so. So this is the beauty of this latest function that Lychee added to their software on the latest update, which allows you to copy the latest, the previously selected support over and over and over. So as la as uh, the last shortcut is supports to nowhere. Supports to nowhere are created by selecting the support or the bracing for that matter and while pressing on the ball joint in advanced mode clicking control. If you click control while you are moving any ball joint it doesn't need to be attached to the model or another support. It doesn't matter. So I can create a mini support like so. Imagine that I want to create a path to that one like that. But I have a thin support here and I click on it. And if I click on control while I'm doing this, if I only release control after I release the tip, it will stay there, just hovering mid air. So now I can basically create my own structure to whatever I need. So this is quite useful to actually reach uh, really hard to reach areas. So let's do it like this. It will maintain attached and you can brace it like so. You can do a lot of stuff with this. 
So imagine that you have a squiggly um, detail that you need to support, but you quite don't have the space to use it. So you can use the supports to nowhere to actually reach that area. As you can see, you can even circle around the, the model with this. You can be so crazy that you can actually draw a frame around the model, like so. And now you create another one. You get the point. So you can basically do a scaffolding frame around the model with the supports to nowhere, like so. So this is the beauty of it. Um, same thing with um, bracings. Sometimes the bracings will clip through uh, part of the model. The only thing you need to do is detach the tip of them and now it becomes a regular support. And I imagine that you have something that is clipping here on this side. Imagine that this arm is clipping through that one. What can you do? Well, you can pull it back, but the bracings, they only have point A and point B. They don't have a third pivot point. But if you use supports to nowhere, while clicking control, now you have another ball joint that got added. So now what you can do is take away the clipping. Imagine that something is clipping there. And now you inflate this to the same size of the pillar on the bracing side. And now you attach it while this is pressing control all the time. Just like so. You can reduce it a bit so it, it doesn't clip through. And now you have kind of a squiggly bracing, but still a bracing that is not actually clipping the model. Imagine that. So these are some of the shortcuts that we find useful on our everyday operations here at Atlas. And I hope you guys enjoyed and see you on the next one.